Hello, good evening to everyone. Welcome to another tutorial video. So today we're going to discuss about friction. Okay. So friction is basically the force that resists the sliding or rolling of an object over another object. Okay. It is denoted by the small letter F. Okay. With the formula mu multiplied by n. Okay. So your mu is the coefficient of coefficient. Sorry, of friction. So it basically means it is the amount of friction between two objects. So meaning if Let's say your surface is quite smooth, let's say glass siya, then you're going to slide an object over glass. So, may you konti ang coefficient of friction compared to, let's say, uh, cinder block or parang magaspang ang surface and tutulak ng isang object or going through an object. May you malaki ang coefficient of friction niya. So, mu basically depends on the surface of both objects. Okay? Now, n is the normal force. Uh, that is the force that is pushing the object up or it is the force exerted by the floor okay, or a surface over another surface okay so uh, uh, let's try to illustrate para mas mag-gets ninyo okay so let's say you have a surface here then you have a certain object okay let's say this is 20 kilograms okay so we're going to push the object this is your force or fa your applied force so it's the force you applied in pushing the object okay so you will be hindered or it will be resisted by your Friction, okay, in this case, your static friction. So, meaning, if you try it, when you move an object na medyo mabigat, mahirap siyang itulak muna, okay? Pero pag natulak muna yan, ano maandar na siya, ano maandar, sorry, ano magalaw na siya, is mas madali lang itulak, okay? So, pag gumagalaw na siya, so, okay, what resist is your kinetic friction, okay? So, meaning, pag static, that means that it isn't moving, okay? Your kinetic friction means gumagalaw na siya. So, you cannot have both static and kinetic uh, at the same time. So, static lang siya when it's not moving and it's kinetic when it's moving. Okay. Now, to solve for this, you need to know the value of your coefficient of friction, coefficient of friction and, of course, your normal force. Okay. So, in this case, your 20 kilogram here is your weight. Okay. So, your normal, for, normal force is the force that's pushing it upward. Okay. So, meaning, for your normal force, let's say you have... 20 kilograms, your normal force now is equal to 20 kilograms multiplied by 9.8 meters per second squared or your Fn is equal to your weight or your mass multiplied by your gravity. Okay, so meaning let's try to solve this. What is the normal force of the object? So it is 20 multiplied by 9.8. So, it is 196. So, your normal force in this given problem is 196. So, it is kilogram meter per second squared or it is equal to newtons. Okay. So, your force now is equal to 196 newtons. That is the force pushing the object upward or the resisting force. Okay. Now, let us try to solve for the frictional forces okay so like i said your f is equal to your mu multiplied by your normal force now let's uh, assign a value for mu so it depends on the object or on the surface of the object on the yung mu mo uh, pwedeng mataas siya pwedeng mababa okay depends on the surface so, for example lang your mu of s is let's say 0 0.5 and then your mu for your kinetic is 0 0.3. Okay, so normally the the coefficient of kinetic uh, of for kinetic uh, for kinetic friction is lesser than static friction. Uh, I haven't solved a problem where in mas malaki yung kinetic friction to static friction uh, in the problems I've solved. And obviously, naman, when the object is not moving, kung mabigat yan, mas malakas ang mas malakas ang kailangan mo na force para gumalaw siya. And then, pagka gumagalaw na yung object mo, medyo mas madali lang tinutulak. Pero pag tinigil mo ulit, uh, titigas yun siya, that's back to static friction na naman. So, mayroon na yung pagtulak mo. So, example lang ito, uh, let's say lang, it is 0.5 and 0.3. Okay? So, meaning for static friction, I think I've lost all the ink in my class uh, yesterday. Okay? So, for static friction, we have your mu, let's say it is 0 0.5. So, 0 0.5 multiplied by your normal force, which is 100, oops, sorry, 196 newtons. Oh, wait, try another marker. 
So let's try to solve that. So that is 0.5 multiplied by 196. So that is equal to 98. Okay. So your F S now is 98. Okay. 98 newtons. Okay. Now solving for frictional, for kinetic friction, we have 0 0.3 multiplied by 198 newtons. Now, I forgot, this is not equal to, this is less than or equal to. So, your static friction may vary. Okay, I'll explain it later why it may vary. Okay, now solving for FK, we have 0.3 multiplied by 196. So, it is 196. That's equal to, can't see that is 0 0.3 multiplied by 196. Okay, 58.8. So your FK is 58.8. Okay, so pardon for the marker. I think I've lost all my ink. All the, uh, the other marker I think I left at school. Okay, so that's the value for your static friction and for your kinetic friction. So, ano ba yan? So, para saan ba yung mga values na yan? Okay? To better understand it, kawa tayo ng table. Okay? So, before that, <clears throat> I'll be going back. Okay? So, your weight now is going down. Your normal force is going up. Okay? So, your normal force is equal to your weight or your mass multiplied by gravity, which is given is 20 kilograms multiplied by your gravity, which is 9.8. You could use 9.81, but We've talked about it before, going to use 9.8 okay, for standard uh, answers. Okay, So 9.8, that is equal to 196 newtons. Okay, So that is your normal force. Now solving for static friction, we have mu. Okay, mu, I'll write again. For F, we have your mu multiplied by your normal force. Okay, So in this case, so we don't have a value for mu. For example, <coughs> for purpose for computation, lang, for example, lang, your mu for static is 0.5, while your mu for kinetic is 0.3. Like I said, normally the static, the coefficient of friction for static is greater than the one in uh, kinet, kinet, uh, sorry, in when it's in motion, okay? <coughs> so in kinetic, okay? So kasi, uh, as example, pagka hindi siya gumagala, mas meron siya ito lang, okay? So ito, yeah. So using 0.5 multiplied by your normal force, we get the value for static friction. And then we have your, again, your normal force multiplied by your mu. We have 58.8 newtons. Now, sabi dito is it's less than or equal to, okay? Unlike here, it is equal to. So when we say equal to, it is a fixed value. Okay, fixed value siya. This one, it varies, okay? So why do I say it varies? Okay, let's try to explain that part. Parang kung medyo malabo siya, okay? So, I think I've lost all that. I'll be using red muna, okay? So, let's try to create a graph or a table. So, this is your applied force. Then, this is your static friction. This is your kinetic friction. And this is your net force. Okay. Uh, hopefully, you could still see it in the red. Okay, I'll try it in black again. Okay, so let's say you're going to push the object. Okay, we start first without pushing. Okay, so, kung wala nga apply na force, wala nga applied force to the object mo. So, you have zero applied force. Of course, there's zero static friction, zero kinetic friction, and there's zero net force. Okay, now let's say you apply the force of 10 newtons. Okay, so you pushed it with a force of 10 newtons, okay? Now, meaning, pag 10 newtons yan, it doesn't mean that your static friction is equal to 98 newtons. Okay, so hindi, hindi ganun siya, okay? So, ibig sabihin, ito nakalagay is less than or equal to. Meaning, when you push it, hindi siya pa siya gagalaw kasi hindi mo pa inabot yung threshold or you haven't reached yung kailangan mo na force for the object to move, okay? So, in this case, kailangan mo is 98 or uh, equal to 98 or greater than 98. Okay, so in this case, hindi 98 ang value ng static mo. Your static friction will match the force you apply on the object. Uh, as long as hindi ka pa lumalagpas doon, the static friction will match the force you're going to apply. Okay, so mean your static friction here is also equal to 
10 newtons. Okay? Your kinetic surface is 0. Since I said there, there shouldn't be, or there can be 2. Okay? Static and kinetic, hindi pwedeng dalawa sila. There should only be 1. Isa lang dapat. Pag hindi siya umaandar, o gumagalaw, at pag gumagalaw siya. Okay? So therefore, your net force then is 0. Okay? Now, let's, let's uh, um, I'm losing the ink. Okay? So, 90 newtons. Okay? If 90 newtons, ang force na in-apply mo doon, okay, so tama-tama yung sa threshold. So, meaning 98 pa rin to. Uh, I'll try it. I'll give another example mo na. One which is lower than 90. Okay. So, better explain it. Let's say it's 80 newtons. Ang force mo is 80. So, therefore, it will match since di ka ba lumalag pa sa 98. It is still 80 newtons. Okay? Zero kinetic and then zero ang net force. Okay, now, if you reach 98 newtons, ang force mo is 98 now, therefore, it is still 98 here. There's no kinetic friction yet kasi hindi pa siya gumagalaw. Tama-tama pala yung binigay mo force to match the kinetic friction. Okay, uh, the static friction, sorry, of the object. So, zero pa din yan, then zero din. Okay, now, when we exceed, let's say you have now 100 Newtons. Okay, so 100 Newtons means gagalaw na yung object. Okay, this object will move since you've reached the threshold of 98 Newtons. Okay, therefore, you have zero kinetic, sorry, zero static since gagalaw na siya. And your kinetic now is, of course, 58.8 Newtons. Okay, so your net force now will be equal to uh, 100 Newtons. Sorry, 100 minus 58.8. It is 41.2, okay? So, your net force is 41.2 newtons. Okay? Now, let's say uh, we apply a greater force. Let's say it's 120. Hopefully, you can still see it here. Okay, 120 newtons, okay? Zero static. And then, your kinetic here does not change. It's equal. So, meaning it's a fixed value. Hindi nagbabago yan. Okay, yan na talaga ang force niya that hinders the movement of the object. So, it is still 58.8 newtons. Okay? So, it is 120 minus 58.8. So, you have 61.2 newtons. That is the net force. Okay. So, that's the difference between static and kinetic. There's no pro uh, problem solving yet. Okay? Uh, that will be for another topic, okay? So, I just discussed the difference and what is friction and what's the difference between static and kinetic friction. So, again, the rundown, static friction is when the object is not moving and kinetic pag gumalaw na siya, okay? Now, your friction is equal to your mu or coefficient of friction multiplied by the normal force. The normal force is solved by using or the formula mass multiplied by gravity or the weight of the object multiplied by gravity. Okay, so that is your normal force. So in getting this table or if, for you to know if it will move, it will not move within this table, you have to get the normal force, then solve for the static friction and the kinetic friction. Okay, after solving that, you could input the data, the data here. Okay, and then try to find out if it exceeds the threshold of static friction. Okay, so as of now, uh, I think I'll stop here. The computation will be in another video. So hopefully you understood this. If not, you can watch the video again. And pardon for the data sub ink. Medyo malabo na. Hopefully like you could still see it or you could uh, follow my discussion. I'll be I'm dictating naman the values that I'm writing. Okay, so that's it for now, and I'll bless it.